A lot of people are struggling, struggling bad. And during this time of year, there is this incessant need to perform gifts, meals, parties. Right now we're doing an initiative right now. Team JW gives back. We've got a website. People can go onto that website and nominate families. And there's, you know, maybe a dozen questions or so. You know, we need some contact information. We need information on how many kids are in the house, clothes sizes, things that would make, you know, this holiday season great for them. everybody welcome back to the big dog podcast i'm the big dog or as some have referred to the fat bearded guy but we'll get into that another time maybe <laughs> what's up logan what up how are you buddy I'm good yeah anything new nah nah nothing nah all right you excited for uh christmas and new year's yeah excited to see people you don't always get to see yeah friends are back from school girlfriend's back in town for a bit yep Big birthday here at the end of the month. Jesus. Well, that's close to the end of the month, but at the very end of the month, mm. there's not quite as big a birthday, but there is a big birthday. Mm. You know who? I don't know. Yeah, me either. Just thought there was someone's birthday at the end of the month, but if we're not going to talk about it, we will talk about it. it. Can't mm -hmm. think about it? Can't think of it. Oh. At one point in time, I had a kid who was born on New Year's Eve. Mm. I thought he was going to be 19 this year. Guess not. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that kid. Me. Right there. 19. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. Um, while I may look old enough to have a 19-year-old son, I do not feel old enough to have a 19-year-old son. The gray in this beard is deceiving. I feel like I'm a 25-year-old with a 19-year-old son. That makes for bad jokes being passed back and forth. Mm. Maybe less than ideal reels being sent on Instagram because of a lack of maturity by the 44-year-old player in this scenario. What do you think? I didn't make them. You didn't make them. That's true. We just shared them. <clears throat> they were given to us. We, yeah. They were put in front of us to be shared with each other. I felt it as selfish if I was the only person to have seen this. <clears throat> well, let, let, let that be a lesson. Some of those things you sent me, it's okay to be selfish. Well, yeah, some of them should, I just didn't want to be the only one that had to see it. <laughs> That's some fair. Some I felt somewhere out of. Uh, That's fair. Yeah. A friend sent me one this morning. I, it was too early in the morning for it. It was a guy jumping off a roof onto a trampoline. He didn't bend his knees right or time it right. His knees ended up bending in lots of different directions. And then he goes flying off into the ground. Not good. It's like no. there's only one way it's supposed no. to. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't bend that way. It went a lot of other ways, though. It looked like a helicopter propeller flinging around. That's gross. Yeah. I, I, I deleted TikTok a while ago so that I didn't uh, have to deal with the, that thing of, like, the addiction of scrolling and stuff. And now they have TikTok on every app. TikTok's on every app? They got reels on Instagram. Oh, the TikTok. style. Yes. They got yes. the YouTube shorts. They got the Facebook something. Because that's what the people want to see, man. They got Snapchat spotlight. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I know. But that's what people want to see. They want this content under a minute. That's all our attention span is. Ha ha funny. Ha ha funny. Ha ha funny. Oh, gross. Ha ha funny. Ha ha funny. Then if you scroll back and watch the gross one again, now they're like, oh, you're a freak. You like gross. And then they give and you And then they're showing you nasty things. Yep. Nobody, though. Well, I won't throw them under the bus, but we had to. <laughs> let's just, yeah, for the protection of all those involved, we'll refer to the one of this individual as nephew. Okay. <laughs> Not to throw him out. <laughs> but I have a lot of nephews, so I'll just say nephew. And we had to teach nephew. What was the problem, Logan? It was okay to watch it, but what was he doing? When you look at reels, uh, it shows people that you follow. Like, it'll show if they liked it or not. And this uh, nephew of his... Uh, <laughs> was liking them and so I was scrolling and saw like terrible reels that you probably shouldn't be seen liking 
because it's probably not good yeah. reputation. Not not a good look. Not a good <clears throat> look. But we just say, hey man, yeah, don't 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 like those. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it was just habit. And that's when you know you're mindlessly scrolling. Yeah. When you're really mindlessly scrolling, like you're just scrolling and clicking, scrolling and clicking, scrolling and clicking. I'm a lot better than I used to be. It's primarily stuff I'm trying to do, you know, work related things, but it's so easy to get sucked into just doing whatever. Now I have a timer where it will kick me out of the app. If it's been like 15 minutes in the day, it locks the app out. But here's the part. It you know, gives you an option. You know the password. Well, no, it doesn't give me a password. It just says, do you want to extend 15 minutes? Yeah. Do you want to ignore it for the day? Oh, and you don't have a password set up you have to do after you press that? No. Oh. No. I have a password set up, but I know the password. So it, No, you need me to set the password you for you. You did set up the password. Oh. And then you told me it a while ago. Because I got tired of unlocking it for you? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what it was for. Well, buddy, if you need me to reset it, I'll do that for you. <clears throat> well, no, I usually don't. I'm fine with it. Like, when it says it, I'm usually good. Because I have it set. I try to go to bed during weekdays at 11 a.m. And then, mm. I mean, 11 p.m. Nice. And so uh, it just shuts off my phone at 11 p.m. Like, I can't go on any apps besides, uh, like, texting or calling or, uh, the, like, the Bible app. Okay. And then it doesn't reopen those apps till 9 a.m. Or, uh-huh. So I, I don't go straight to it in, on the morning. So you wait till you get to work to get on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I well, like it. I got to use it for some of the stuff because it's for social media marketing and stuff. Absolutely. But, hey, I'm not yeah. knocking it. The hustle's the hustle. And that's actually a really disciplined thing to do. So 11 to 9, you can't even access that stuff. Yeah, unless I press ignore for today or ignore for 15 minutes. But then you just feel bad about yourself the rest of the day when you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to do that? Let's talk about feeling good about oneself. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Because tis the season, son. Tis the season. You already mentioned one big birthday coming up. Yep. Jesus. We're about a week out. It's a lot of fun. And a lot of times, you know, this time of year, you know, eh, families are coming together. People are traveling. They're celebrating Christmas, among many other holidays this time of year. Eh, The new year, ringing in the new year together. And people, of course, will be doing their social media perfection of their family and their hot cocoa and their matching pajamas and all that bullshit while they're screaming at their kids, cussing at them. But on social media, it'll look perfect, right? It'll look great. It's like we used to do when you were small. No, we didn't really do that. <laughs> we, we didn't do that. But we drink some hot cocoa. Never really had to do matching pajamas till recently. And it's been more themed than matching. Yeah. Your mom's pretty good to us. But a lot of people struggling. And we've talked about that. We talked about business owners struggling this year, different people struggling. And, you know, just because it's the holiday season does not mean everything is merry and bright. The, the life and life's problems don't take a time out because, you know, Hallmark is devastating televisions across the world, you know, with the same movie and 50,000 different variations. So, you know, a lot of people are struggling, struggling bad. And during this time of year, there is this incessant need to perform gifts, meals, parties, all these things. And and the reality is, if you don't got it, you don't got it. And, you know, there's a lot of people going without. There's a lot of people that can't provide simple necessities, you know, for their, their kids and themselves. There are you know, let alone, you know, uh, kid uh, toys, you know, for some kids or something like that. Little kids thinking Santa's going to show up and, you know, it's kind of tough for Santa to show up when Santa's debit card doesn't swipe. And so it's it's hard for a lot of people out there. And there's a lot of great organizations that step in and help out and do stuff for people. And, you know, my kind of thing is like, hey, guys, everybody's focusing on their own stuff. They're focusing on their own family, their own kids, their own friends. You know, let's make sure we're taking a second, a second, maybe a full minute or two. And it's like, man, is there anything I can possibly do to help someone, to help some kid? And I know we all will see, hey, you can, there's like the the gift trees where you can grab like the ornament off of it and the ornament has a need that's there. And it's like, okay, I need size, you know, seven shoes for a boy or size large, you know, girls clothes, you know, jeans, sweaters, something like that. And you grab these things. It's like, okay, I can't fix all these ornaments on this tree, all these needs on the tree, but I can grab one. I could fix one of them. 
there's a lot of animal rescues and things like that that do stuff like that this this time of year. Man, we and you you grab one, and it's like, hey, a forty pound bag of dog food, a thing of blankets, um, thing of sanitizer. I mean, it could be whatever. Anyway, a lot of times people get overwhelmed by the amount of needs. When it's not our responsibility, if you have the ability to help, to solve all the needs that are out there. I do believe it's our responsibility, though, to fill the needs that we can. And whether you have a little or you have a lot, there is a need that can be filled. And are you taking time? And not just this time of year. I'm just I'm just putting it out there right now because because more people are thinking about it, maybe. But do you ever take the time on a regular basis to think about someone or something other than you and yours. And yes, you and yours have to be taken care of. You and yours have to be um, provided for and protected. And yes, you and yours should have first before, you know, looking out for, for others. Just reality. You know, if you, if you don't take care of yourself, how can you take care of others? You got to take care of you. That's not selfish. But if you're blessed and you have the ability to take care of yourself and yours, your family, your friends, particularly in exceptional ways, there is a responsibility, I believe, to make sure we're looking outside of ours and who we can help and who we can impact. So one of our core values around here, as you guys know, if you've been a listener of the show for the last couple of years, is generosity. And that's a big thing to me. I always feel challenged to give the most when I have the least. It's a weird thing. I just feel like God puts it on your heart. And it's not it's not about necessarily the act of doing of, of what you're giving to or providing for someone else. It's the act of the obedience and the faith in I'm prompting you to be generous with your time, with your resources, with your money, with your gift, whatever it is. And you going without, you have faith that you will be fine. And so it's about that obedience of having that generous spirit when maybe it doesn't make the most sense to you, but you're still obedient to the calling. Sometimes when you're generous, it's more about that than the person that's receiving the gift. The gift. I'm not talking about toys and gift cards and stuff like that. I'm talking about the gift could, could could be those things, but the gift could be, hey, are you paying a utility bill for somebody? The gift could be, hey, are you putting food in the refrigerator? Hey, are you showing up with diapers for somebody? Like these are the gift. Like the gift is that you have to give is the ability to be generous. That's the gift. So who are you thinking about between you and yours? Right now, we're doing an initiative right now. Team JW gives back. We've got a website. People can go onto that website and nominate families. And there's, you know, maybe a dozen questions or so. You know, we need some contact information. We need information on how many kids are in the house, clothes sizes, things that would make, you know, this holiday season great for them. And, you know, some background on the situation that they're going through. We're not using this stuff to create a bunch of social media buzz. I'm not trying to, we're not going to video going in and knocking on the door and surprising the family with wrapped presents and all this. Like that's not, that's not us or what this is about. We just want to help fill some needs. And while this has been a super tough year and a frustrating year on so many fronts, we're still here. And we survived our toughest of days this year, just like we always have in my 44 years. My toughest day has never killed me. I've always been blessed with another day and the ability to move forward and the ability to provide and the ability to problem solve and the ability to figure shit out. My PhD is in that, figuring shit out, son. Did you know that? They gave me a bunch of tassels and ribbons when I graduated. I got that FSO degree. PhD and FSO, figuring shit out. And (laughs) not everybody has that. Not everybody has that. Some people's circumstances don't allow to act upon it if they have that. And so we want to help some people out. And I know we can't help everybody. I know that we'll probably get more nominations than we will get people that we can actually do something for. But we're going to help as many individuals, families as we possibly can. Are we going to be able to fill every need that is listed? Maybe, maybe not. Do we sacrifice filling every need for, for one family in order to fill a lot of needs for a lot of families, but not all for any? Maybe, maybe, and probably, but we're going to do the best we can for however many we can until we can't do it anymore because we have an obligation to do so. Things haven't been easy. Things haven't been as fruitful as I'd hoped this year. Things haven't just blown the doors off like I hoped this year. But it's been a really, really, really great year. And if I think about that, I would probably say that every year. Because my hopes and expectations 
for my family, for our businesses is always high. It's always astronomical. And that's just how I'm wired and how I'm driven. And so when I say it wasn't what I hoped, that doesn't mean it was bad. It means it wasn't what I hoped. And I'm going to go to work and I'm going to figure out how do we fix it to where maybe we can get to where I hope next year. Because I got that PhD in what, son? FSO. FSO. Figuring shit out. So help us help those who can't figure shit out for themselves. Help us to help them do it. Help us to fill the refrigerator up and take that burden off mom and dad who are struggling, trying to figure out not how are we going to do a Christmas dinner, but how are we going to do dinner tonight? Not how am I going to get toys underneath the Christmas tree for the kids, but how are we going to make sure the heat don't get cut off between now and then? Help us to help people. And again, I can't help everybody, but we're going to help somebody and we're going to help a couple somebodies until we just can't anymore. But I need you to share this link that we're going to put here on the podcast. It'll be tagged in the notes so you can click on it. It's on our social media pages. It's on my Instagram. If you go to Instagram, that dog trainer at the top in the profile, there's a link straight to the site. Click it, fill it out, nominate a family, share it with your church, share it with organizations you're a part of, share it with groups that you volunteer with. Maybe they know somebody. And this isn't a, this isn't a promo thing. I promise you, we're not going to be using this to, to post a bunch of stuff. I'm using the platform to ask you to help my family and I to help others. That's it. Because I don't know, I know people that we want to help, but I know there's a lot more people out there than I know of. And so that's where I need you to help me. And then the bigger ask that I have for you beyond that, maybe you don't know anybody to nominate. Maybe you do. But what can you do? What's one thing that you can do between now and the end of the year to help somebody else? For you to take the opportunity, the blessings you've received this year, and just help one person, one individual, maybe a family, just something. Take a moment, reflect on all you've gained this year, as good as the world has been to you this year, even if it's been tough, even if it's been hard, even if there's been pain and there's been challenges, you're still here. You still have the means to help someone. Maybe it's with your time. Maybe you show up and volunteer someplace. You don't got to write a check. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm asking you, what can you do for somebody that needs a hand, that needs help? Figure out what you can do in these next couple of weeks before the end of the year. And then I challenge you to make a new habit out of it in 2024 where you're doing that more often. Watch how your mindset changes. Watch how the opportunities get created in front of you to be a blessing to someone and help somebody. Stop thinking about you and yours. Take care of you and yours. Stop obsessing over you and yours and take some time to focus on some others. So if you can, check out the link, make a nomination, maybe share it with someone who you think maybe can and look for an opportunity that you have to make an impact in someone's life. You don't got to sign your name on it. You don't need to put it on Instagram and Facebook and make a big old thing. Look what I did. Just do it for them. And you'll realize how big of an impact that has. And you realize, oh man, I kind of am doing this for me. Because if you have never been a person who's generous, giving spirit, it's, and I haven't always been, I haven't always been outside of my circle. I haven't always been how I am proud to be now. It changes you. It fills you with energy. It fills you with motivation. Um, It unlocks something in you and you start to see opportunities all around you to be able to help. You're here for more than just to be. Being's easy. Being a resource is tough. It takes a little bit of sacrifice. So use what you have, use what you've earned, use your skills, use your gifts, and be that resource for someone or something else besides yourself. We love you here at the Big Dog Podcast. It's been an awesome year. Um, I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Happy New Year. I wish you Happy Holidays. And man, we have got a action-packed 2024 in store for you. We love you guys. Catch you next time in the studio. (laughs) 